If I haven't harvested the soul of this town within my first week, I'm not playing the game right. Hello everyone! Today we've started yet another brand new farm, because we're going to see if we can make Lewis try and get us to fix up the Joja Mart. The way I'm going to try and accomplish this is pretty simple. We're going to buy the Joja membership before we ever do the cutscene with Lewis. Now the cutscene with Lewis can be avoided, I often avoid it for quite a few months before I even have to bother with it. Joja Mart is easy to do as long as you have the money for it, which is why I like it. And I'm not entirely sure how early we can actually buy the Joja Mart. I don't think there's any limit, but it does cost money. That's normally what stops people from doing it super early. We'll pretend I waited till 9 o'clock. This is the guy we have to see. Morris, welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja customer, satisfaction, representative. JSCR for short. You should probably go with that. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. So far, you're doing a lot more talking than I would like. I just want to sign the form. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? Membership is now available. Again, can we get on with this? With the Joja membership, you'll be able to make improvements in our community with the help of our dedicated personnel for a fee, of course. Oh, and another thing. Mayor Lewis promised us that if anyone else joined up, he'd let us turn that old community center into a Joja warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? That's delightful. I would like to do that right away. Membership costs $5,000. Well, would you like to join us? Yes. If you become a Joja member, the community center will become a Joja warehouse, and you will no longer be able to refurbish it. However, Joja will provide an alternative means to improving the town. Are you sure you want to join? Yes. I don't have enough money. Or do I? Well, there it is. It's only 5,000 gold to do it initially. And you can do it on day one. Nothing stops you except for the money. Excellent. Welcome to Joja Corporation. Come back tomorrow and we can see about getting started on some community development projects. Oh, and don't forget your wallet. Now, let me call Mayor Lewis and see about gutting that nasty old community center. Can you also inquire about wheels too? We should do that same thing to him. I feel like he's run his purpose. But that confirms it. Lewis does know that Joji Mart is taking over the community center. So if he still asks us to fix it up, we know what he's all about. Day number two on a brand new farm, and we have one beautiful, amazing Joja Center thing. I don't even know what it's called. We'll call it a Joja Center because I can't think of the name for it. Basically, it looks like this inside now. Instead of working to complete all the bundles and complete every single room, you just buy all these individually from Joja Mart from Morris. This is definitely the quicker and easier option, which I've exercised in the past because it is, in fact, quicker and easier. As soon as I can, I'm going to have Joja make a few upgrades on you, too. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Especially when they walk right into your house. Get right up in your business while you're watching TV. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Wheels, so... Not like you can do anything about it. Now, before we do the whole Lewis cutscene, I want to upgrade every single piece of this, which is gonna take us another five days, I think. I think there's five parts you can do. I've got the Georgia Community Development Form right here for you, sir. Care to take a look? Absolutely. Five parts. For a total of 135,000 gold if my math is adding up. Some of these by the way are a lot more useful than others. The greenhouse and the bus in particular are the good ones. Panning is not worth your time. The bridge and the minecarts, eh, up to you. Bus first. Pam gets her job back. Excellent, we'll get our workers on it tonight. It should be ready for you by tomorrow. It better be. If I haven't harvested the soul of this town within my first week, I'm not playing the game right. And any quality construction company will work at night. Next on our list, we're going to do the minecarts, just because we can. I just realized that this community upgrade personally benefits me only, basically. It's something on my property, it's something I own, and I can pay Joja to fix it for me. That's by no means a community upgrade. I'm not complaining, I approve that process, but it's just funny. It definitely is pretty expensive to upgrade everything. Like I said, I believe it's 140,000 total with the initial Joja membership, so it's going to cost you a few bucks to do this. And finally, the bridge. Excellent, we'll get our workers on it tonight, and if I haven't actually done this all before within a week, I think I get an achievement, so that might be exciting. Apparently not, but that's okay, it's a personal achievement. Oh, hello, Lady Wheels. Good morning, dear. Yeah, sorry, I'm not really in a farming type mood today, so get out of here. Right, so the little detail I've overlooked is if you finish the Joji Mart in its entirety, you get a cutscene where everyone celebrates finishing the Joji Mart in its entirety, so the Lewis cutscene might not be triggerable anymore, but I'm gonna see if it is. I have a feeling it's not now that we've done this. I might have to redo this, but not finish it all the way. But at least I got a soda machine. So that's something. I should give that to Pam. She likes garbage. Okay, so normally the cutscene with Lewis triggers after 8am if you enter town from your farm from this direction. Oh, we do get it. Nice. Good morning, Lewis. How are you? Fancy Joji Mart we got there. Oh, hi there. 
he's getting old, he doesn't remember any of this happening, or the big celebration we had an hour ago celebrating Justice Warehouse. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice shade of blue. Matches the sky. Made from tears. What an eyesore. Same could be said for you, my friend. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Not anymore, it's not, Lewis. It's actually the Joja Garbage Storage Warehouse. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bussing with activity. Yeah, about that. I don't think we're going to be taking that route anymore. Notice I get it. It's shameful. Matches our shady mayor and his solid gold statues. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Well, that's why you're wrong. The young folk hang out with the young folk and the old folk hang out with the old folk. You don't really get a lot of in-between because old people are boring. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. You don't really have a choice. Joji Corporation has been hounding me to sell them their land so they can turn it into a warehouse. They have those monsters. That sounds much easier than fixing this up by hand. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. I mean, as mayor of the town, you could choose to fix it up instead of, you know, building things for yourself. If anyone else buys a Jojico membership, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. You're not very perceptive, are you? But that's fine. Here, let's go inside. Wait, what? Is Marnie here somewhere? You're not allowed in there. That's not even yours anymore. That's property of Joja. Nice boxes, huh? Why does he look confused? Does he realize what's happened? Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Oh, it still does the old thing. No, I don't think they were. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Were you still talking about Marnie? Hey, a Junimo! A Junimo in the Joji warehouse! That's not supposed to be there. I bet they're really happy with me right now. I bet if I make a Junimo hat, they're not gonna work at all. What's the matter? Are you ill? Condescending much? Uh, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk to these boxes for a while. Uh-oh. This might break the game. Or we could just enjoy this walking animation for a while. Lewis, I'm busy. Get out of here. I'm really curious to see what happens now if we can't actually do the wizard cutscene with the Junimos and everything now. I think I'm just gonna have to skip this because this just clearly isn't gonna work. Well, let's take a look and see if we have anything to play with in here. I don't know if it's gonna be crossed between the community center and Joja now or if it's just gonna be Joja. That clearly didn't work out very well. Normally you come in here, touch the thing that's right about here, and it's clearly not there in any capacity whatsoever. So I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to even meet the wizard now. This might actually break the game in a pretty considerable way. And I'm okay with that because I like to break things. Hi, Pierre. Uh, by the way, I made your rivals a ton of money and pretty much secured their monopoly on the town. But it's not all bad. I brought you a gift, something to remember them by. This is a sad day for Pelican Town. The stronger Joji becomes, the closer I move toward bankruptcy. I might have to sell the shop soon. Hey, I know someone who will buy it. Well, it's definitely getting a little bit depressing in here, so I'm going to head home. Tomorrow, we definitely need to check the mail to see if anything's coming in from the wizard. Because we definitely did see a Junimo, but normally you have to react to that little thing in the floor for it to actually matter, so I don't really know what to do. Definitely no mail today, so we're going to skip it ahead a week, see if the mail comes in there. I don't think it's gonna, but I have to try. We do have mail this rainy day. Uh, Robin lost her axe, couldn't care less. Tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival, don't care. I know you're getting started, Granny Evelyn, don't care. Does this mean I can never meet the wizard now? I've got to go and try, but before I do that, I want to see if I can get some money for this garbage that Evelyn gave me. Nope, you can't sell it here. But chin up, Pierre. That Joji Cola thing beside you has pretty much a license to print money. Prints one of those out every single day. Good morning. Uh, think of this thing as like a litter box for Pam's. Okay, she doesn't want it. That's too bad. Extra absorbent would save her a lot of mess around that trailer. And like I said, I think doing this is going to break the game because, oh, we can meet the wizard. I didn't think we'd be able to go in because normally you have to have the mail to go into his tower. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Apparently not with you. I can just walk right in here and meet you. Cool. Can I have another one of those Joji Cola dispensers? I feel like that's a moneymaker. 
I've got the Joja community development form right here. Yes, and there's nothing further we can do, so this is about out of ideas. All right, so apparently doing this wouldn't really have any too adverse effects on your game. You can still talk to the wizard. You can still do everything from here on out, except for the community center. And if you guys have any new games you want to see me play, do let me know in the comments below or on Twitter or wherever you can. I want to start getting into a couple other games. In fact, I want to start getting into a couple other games every single week. Try some variety, see what happens. I know there's a lot of other fun games out there, so let me know what you think. Other than that, I hope you all liked it. Thank you all for watching.